sheer curiosity if I'm asked what started my interest. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, you know, it grew, it was made, it was part of nature. And I can't get over it, I'm overwhelmed by that. I kind of hate all that sort of hunting trophy bullshit that goes with taxidermy historically. But to have it as, a, as an object of beauty and an object of natural history, and I, I think those objects, they are objects of curiosity. I'm influenced by the skies, I'm influenced by the colour of nature, by the ocean, by the noises of nature. Every piece of taxidermy I use is a tribute to nature and it's a, it's a homage to the beauty of it and to the beauty of that life. I'm not dealing with the live essence of nature, I'm dealing with what nature has left. I'm dealing with the shell of nature, which at that point has become a decorative object. But it is a decorative object that tells a story and triggers memory. All I'm doing with that object is I'm just slightly adorning it, whether that would be with gold or whether it be complementing it with other objects that also tell part of its story and take its story further. Taxidermy as an art form does keep you in touch with spirit, um, with nature and with, with your own spirit and also probably your own mortality. Yeah.